Hello students, this is Oshani from Chinta.com. If you are part of Chinta's learning community, then you must be aware that we run mathematical circles for rural schools, first generation learners and underprivileged communities. We have been doing this for 5-6 years. The center point of our activities is however a research question. It's a community research. It's a pedagogy related research. The question is, how can we communicate and get the students involved in beautiful mathematics from an underprivileged or first generation learning community? How is it possible? I'll contrast our situation in India with that of in US or Russia or Canada, where math circles are really popular. What is a math circle? A math circle can be a weekly activity where five, six, seven students come together. There is a coordinator who is mostly there to facilitate the gathering, not to sort of teach anything. And the students come together and they think about interesting, intriguing problems. They spend hours thinking about those problems, collaborating on the problems. Now, herein comes a very important point. The students who are doing it, they have the economic means and the cultural background of doing that activity. If you are hungry or if you are a first generation learner, you may not be able to associate that much value with that two hours or three hours of thinking activity. In India, when we started with the math circle process in remote places like Purulia, in Birbhum, Bakura, Sundarbans, we encountered this problem. First generation learners, Adivasis, underprivileged, working class population, students coming from those communities were unable to associate value to this intellectual activity of uh, doing beautiful problems. And then we tried different things, we changed the problems, we changed the methods of teaching. And finally, about two, three years ago, we struck, I would say, gold. After multiple failures, we found a method that actually started working. What is this method? It's very simple. Instead of putting teachers as coordinators in those math circles, Students from Chinta who have been training for Math Olympiads for several years, they were put as community leaders and math circle leaders. So imagine a 6th or 7th grader becoming the coordinator of other 6th and 7th graders. The coordinator is from an urban school who have been training with us for several years. The participants are from the rural school or from the underprivileged sections. This started working really wonderfully. We saw barriers of economy, barriers of language get disappearing overnight. Students started interacting. It's very beautiful. Uh, then we started from the online process, we started an offline process pretty recently. There are uh, students from a section of a Kalighat slum area. This is in Calcutta, who have started coming to our uh, center. And again, a student, uh, Shoham Bhadro, in fact, for this particular group, is helping these kids learn beautiful mathematics. Uh, the interest of the kids, the twinkle in the eyes of the children, it's remarkable. So if you are also interested in this sort of a community engagement, and if you are a student at Chinta, then let us know. We'll be very happy to have you in the team. Together, we can work with thousands and thousands of students all across the country and bring in really a beautiful revolution in mathematical learning. And I told you this at the very beginning of this video that our actual goal is a research question. So as we teach, as we engage with the students, we are also writing down, recording what are the methods that are actually working for these first generation learners? So that other people who try these things later, they can use these findings and directly start from that point. So it's 
simultaneously a community engagement project and a pedagogical research project. For example, these students are also being engaged into computer science programming. Eventually, they will be engaged into hands-on activities. All of these will be recorded. I mean, they are being recorded right now. You have seen some of the videos, some of the clippings in this particular video. More will come up soon. It's a very beautiful process. It's a very enjoyable process. I hope you can be a part of it. Thank you for watching this video. Keep on doing beautiful mathematics. I will see you in the next one. Bye.